Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to Knack 3D Designs. Yeah, I know, the White Knight's missing. No worries, it's sitting right over there, printing out more pieces of Broken Nerd Thanos Blade. He made this thing massive, and thanks to the wonderful people over at IC3D, they were nice enough to provide me with a 10K spool of filament to print this thing. Hopefully I have some left when this project's done. But uh, that's not why we're here. We're here to learn about assembling the White Knight, and in today's episode we're going to go ahead and install all of our idler pulleys. So let's get started. Alright, so in this video we're going to go ahead and cover how to install our idler pulleys in all of these parts. You're going to need 20 F623ZZ bearings. You're going to need 4 metric 3 nuts. You're going to need 10 metric 3 washers. And 10 metric 3 by 25 millimeter bolts. Now to do this, you're going to need two bearings and one washer for each pulley position. As you can see here, these are a flanged bearing that will help keep the belt lined up in the middle. This way to do it, you're just going to get and stack the washer centered on one bearing and put the other bearing up on top of it like so grab one of your bolts uh, easiest thing to do is yeah, just slide it off the table on these pieces drills really you can drop it till they roll back in place slide your bolt in Might have to align it just a little bit with a screwdriver. So the bolt slides through, and then just crank in your bolt. And for these pieces, you're just going to repeat this for the other three positions. One more on this one and two more on the other piece. Right, and that takes care of both of those. Now we're going to work on our stepper motor mounts. There's one idler pulley in each one of them. These are a little harder to line up because you don't have really anywhere for the pulleys to rest. So you got to kind of balance them on your finger. As you try to get the bolt positioned ahead of time. Anybody? Listening to this is now by now probably noticed that there's no sound of me doing all the work because I filmed all this and well found out that the microphone wasn't working and really did not want to do all these again because they're not fun. You see I got it balanced on my finger there now I'm going to try and run the bolt through. Care of one of them. Hardest part is keeping that washer dead center. If you're lucky sometimes a little bit of residual grease on the bearings, which will help hold it in place for you. And sometimes there's not. Alright, that's the second stepper motor mount. Now we're going to work on our rear idler assemblies. Now, the original design I used was a D-Bot design and whoever did this made it to have two nuts inserted in those slots. Um, I didn't get a chance to try and remake it to where I could use heat sets. There are times I really wish I had. This is probably the hardest part of setting this up is getting the, the nuts to line up correctly. 
You want to make sure that you've got it slid in with one of the points at the top center. So you got two flat sides going down along the wall. Depending on your printer's accuracy, you may have to file that just a little bit. Just make sure it's a, not too loose of a fit or the nut will spin and turn inside of there instead of tightening up. All right, and I'm going to show you on this piece here. When I prepped these pieces, I went ahead and I ran a drill bit. And I don't know if you can see these two little holes right here. And right here, I ran a drill bit in through the other side just to make it to where I can position that nut using a T-wrench like I have in my hand or you know, a paper clip. You just have to get everything lined up and then push it and pull it back and forth until you get that nut right underneath of the, the bolt. The washer kept fighting me on this one, did not want to line up in the center. I got pretty lucky on that one, I hit the nut on the first try. Now we're basically going to repeat this process for the other be idler bearing in this one and in the other corner as well. There will be two more bearings on our other rear support, a rear idler support. There we go. That completes the first one. Now we'll grab the other rear idler bracket and install the two in this one as well. Unfortunately, this one I didn't line up right, and sometimes it's hard to get that bolt to back off. So I'm going to try and find me a paper clip here and see if I can't push the bolt back out so I can get the nut lined up underneath it. Very specialized tool, the paper clip. Okay, so I've got the bolt backed out. Now I'm going to see if I can't line that nut up a little better. All right, so just to go over these again, here is our left rear idler bracket with both of its pulleys installed. Here is our right rear idler bracket and stepper mount with its pulleys installed. Here is our left front stepper mount with its pulley installed. And here is our right front stepper mount with its pulley installed. And here are our two x-axis brackets with both of their bearings and pulleys installed. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. If you'd like to help support the channel and future projects, there is a PayPal me link 
and a wish list in the description below. Stay tuned for more of what comes with the Thanos Blade, and uh, we'll see you soon.